Hey guys, it's the Autohaun. Welcome back. So we are today at German Car Day at the Lars. Uh, it seems to be my favorite haunt. I hope they don't mind so much. Um, I'm enjoying it tremendously. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, it's about the drive. And more BMWs, as far as the eye can see. And again, I really used to like the BMW brand. I think it's a good brand, and I will really hope that they start to engineer their cars not to fail. Uh, big failure points in these cars are the tensioners, uh, the plastic inner uh, rod bearings uh, guide, and that really does uh, cost a lot when you have to replace them. Here comes a new M3. talking about and here we go this is the BMW 325i convertible coming over here we're going to look at this BMW 2002 we can do a deep dive on this one look at this this is beautiful. Look at the interior with the BMW Memo style steering wheel, which is removable. The four speed transmission. This, I believe, is a 1976. Uh, this is a 76 with the cool wheels. Very nice. Another BMW. Here's a new BMW M. I haven't seen this one yet. In 2007? Huh. BMW M Cube. I've never seen one of these. Not this one. This is really, really, really nice. Taking a look at this car. It, uh, Appears to be. Ned, we're gonna check on Matt. We'll be right back. Eight cylinder? No, six cylinder. Excuse me. Yeah. Is it a six cylinder? Really, really sweet looking car. And then you have this one right here. There's another M. 4.4 liter, 523 horsepower. This car goes like nobody's business. Back to the. M series here. That's the inside. And you can see the huge difference. This is the M850i uh, with the four wheel drive system in it. And pulling in right there is the 8. That is the 850 CSI. Or correction, CI, excuse me. I'll go see that in a moment. All right, look at this M4 right here. It is slammed right to the ground, sitting right over those beautiful copper-colored wheels. Oh, oh, sorry. Apparently, that's his Instagram, so if you want to look at who he is, right here. With the Recaro racing seats and the roll cage on the inside. He has really done a lot of carbon fiber work to this car. And look how low that is. That is literally touching the ground. Unbelievable. Here's an M3. The M4. And coming over here to the i8, we got a chance to look at one of these a few weeks ago on my video down in Norwood. And this is the i8. Uh, this i8 right here is all electric. There is nothing uh, gas in this car. It's all electric. So wheels, the uh, doors come up and the go wing. And then that's the inside. And this is the i8, as you can see, right in through here, that is the aerodynamic downforce. Really space-looking. Uh, here's another 2002. 
<laughs> this one's really well done. I love the ice blue color on it. Neat little interior, little five-speed transmission. And the rally lights on it. 1976, it's called Ford Blue. I think that's what it says there. Yeah. Oh, Fjord Blue, excuse me. Here is a silver BMW M5. I don't know the year on it, I'm sorry. With the cool wheels. And again, another BMW slammed down with the BBS wheels. Let's go take a look at this M3. The really pretty pewter gold color. It's like a pearlescent paint job with the carbon fiber roof, carbon fiber mirrors. And here's the back of the car right here. And there goes the shoebox. Another M3. This is brand new, obviously. 635 CSI. This is a very nice car. This is when BMW was the ultimate driving machine. This is what I'm talking about, folks. Look at this. It has the BBS wheels. He's got a model of it on the dashboard. It's a neat car. This, I believe, is an 86, and I'm correct, it is an 86. This is an air ride system in the back of a BMW. He did the floor, like the inside floor. Really cool. This is really neat. Ball and Supra, it says. It's clearly not a Supra. Uh, nice little car. It's slammed again. That's where that air ride suspension comes in. That's how they get them up and down. And the license plate is you looked. Very cool. Old M3. Okay, so I'm one of those people. Again, I'm an old school guy. This is the Alpina M3. Okay, now let's talk about Alpina. Alpina is a house that works with BMW and they modified cars to get a little bit more horsepower out of them. This particular version, you can see all of the Alpina racing inside here. This is a 1988 BMW M3. Um, this is amazing that it's an Alpina. You don't see a lot of these. They're very, very rare. Uh, he put in a um, screen on the inside, which is kind of cool. Brings it updated, but still kept the throwback look. Um, really, really sweet car. And let's look at this peach one. It's peach. It is definitely peach. I'm not sure if it's wrapped or painted, but it is peach. It's got the really interesting wheels. Unbelievable color. Very nice. Let's find out a little bit more about this car. Doesn't say much. I would vote for this for a car of the show just because the color is just so different. Unbelievable. And here's another BMW. This one right here is, I believe, the 528. Hey, look, I got it right. Yay! The auto hound knows what he's talking about. Didn't get them all wrong today. Uh, 330CI. And proving once again, everybody is in the SUV game because BMW makes an SUV. Oh. Look. 
come in and look at this BMW. 850. Yeah, a lot. People around the car with a car. Usually a good thing. Look at that. 12 cylinder engine. What a beast. He's looking at this car and he's saying, oh my goodness. What a beautiful car. Oh, it's got an old cell phone inside. How cool is that? It's the 850 CI. This is the one that was coming in that I promised we'd get to. Look how nice this is. You can tell it's from the 90s, the big wide lights on it. But it's still a classic design, classic look. I like the license plate on this car. Four X's. Not three, not two, not one. Four. And moving up here to another M3. Very neat car, fast, zero to 60, sub six seconds. Now, it doesn't sound fast to you kids today uh, when stuff is going zero to 60 in two seconds. Uh, however, anything sub six used to be considered a very fast car. Uh, here's a Z4, backed up with a convertible Z4. And I like the way he changed out the logo. Now, the logo, if anybody knows, is supposed to be representative of the blue sky and the white propeller blades. So if we come over to this one right here, you'll see the blue sky and the white propeller blades, because BMW was originally an airplane company. 30. Hey guys, um, so this is a 1979 Porsche 930 Turbo. Uh, try finding one of these. You're not going to. This is gorgeous. Now look at the seats. This car is a 79 and they're still in pristine condition. And you can see the Porsche crest way over there on the doorknob. It was hard. <laughs> yeah, but it wasn't that Look at this. What a beautiful car. This is the Turbo. So, you know, growing up, you know, you see cars like this on the road, you're like, oh my God, I want one of those. And you put it on your wall. This gentleman right here uh, purchased his. Um, someone told him it was their dream car. Um, it certainly is a dream car. I love the gold color. Absolutely stunning. Uh, here is the 930. I just want to give you a thought. These cars were obscenely fast, uh, 0 to 60 in about 4.3, 4.4 seconds. Top speed 158 miles an hour. Really neat little car. Now we're going to go look at a 1984 Carrera. Yeah. All right, whoever parked this here is a genius. Look at this. The two cones side by side. No parking this side. BMW M3. I believe this is a 1987. I'm just going to take a peek inside here. It doesn't tell me. I'm going with 87 or 88 or 89. Look at this. It's in perfect condition, keeping it in the shade because it's a dark car. And they came back to factory stock like this. Just a beautiful car. How neat is this? This is a 1984 Porsche 911 Carrera uh, with the red wheels. Really neat little car. Again, I'm a Porsche guy, folks. So when I see these things, I jump all over them. Well, not literally, of course, just figuratively. And got the wheel tail on the back. That's an 18 inch wheel tail. Neat little car. Here's the inside. Boy, did they make a nice car. They still do. All right, guys, this has been the Auto Hound. Thanks again for joining us for BMW Car Day here at the Lars Anderson. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. I'm going to try to keep this into one video. It might be two. You never know. Uh, and again, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, it's about the drive.